So how do we create our own hand painted tileable textures? Well, it's uh, quite easy. First thing we need to do is uh, let's just get rid of this uh, cube first, the default cube. And let's go to uh, texture paint. So we do not need any of this 3D space. So we just slide this over and focus on this part only. Now we can click on new and um, I'm just going to click on OK for right now. So here is our texture, right? And we can paint on here as you can see. But yeah, we cannot really see if it's tileable or anything like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here, click on that and go to view and make sure we repeat the image. So now you can see if you scroll out that the image is getting repeated over and over. Uh, be careful if you scroll too far away, it's kind of, it can get a bit laggy. And also with this, we do have the option to paint on here, but it doesn't really get tiled on the other side. So how do we tile it? Well, if you go into tool, go to tiling, click on X and Y. Now it will be tiled around the X and the Y axis. You can literally just paint on here. And once you get to the corner, it will paint a little bit over like the, the corner. And you can see that it also happens on the other side, right? So now you just match them up a little bit and you can see that it works quite good. Also here, if I paint on here, you can see that it also happens on this side. So now it is literally uh, tileable. So now that you know this, you can start creating your own textures and I will just do a little bit of a time lapse and I'll dub over what I'm doing, let's say. And yeah, so let's make a new texture in here. We're gonna rename this to stone floor uh, and a 1024 by 1024 is good so let's click on ok and here is our texture very cool everything gets styled on the other side and we have it uh, yeah, repeating so very cool we can start creating our texture if you don't want to make the texture yourself you can also go to the resource pack on my website and get it for free i don't think it's perfect yet but it's of course available for you guys and the first thing that we're going to do is sketch out these rocks and keep in mind that the color that you use for your sketch don't do it like too dark keep it a bit light gray and just go slightly over it because you don't want to see these lines in your end result and if there is too much contrast in the lines you can still see them in the end result you don't want that so now it's time for the highlights and you put the highlights all kind of where you would imagine the sun hitting them so uh, you can see that they are all kind of in the same spot and then uh, of course the shadows so those will be at the opposite side of the highlights of course because shadows will be formed there And here you can also see that I also put some shadows and some more detail on top of the rocks. Otherwise they are very just bland. And yeah, this is just kind of figuring out and also looking at your reference images. Make sure you have some rocks on your reference images so you can see. And then what you do is go with the highlights again on the opposite side of that. And uh, really make those... Yeah, higher parts pop, so uh, otherwise they don't really look like they are higher. And that's why we put some of those highlights on there. And here I like to get uh, some colors in here. I used some greens and some purples, just to so it's not only gray. So around here I noticed that there is not enough contrast between the, the shadows and the rocks themselves. So I liked to create some... Uh, Real contrast and also get some thinner highlights in here, which really make the rocks pop a bit more.
So around here, I wanted to create some cracks in some rocks. And one thing you want to keep in mind, if you want to like tile your textures a lot, then do not just use one rock with some cracks or some moss. You gotta do it over your whole texture. Like uh, give more of them that detail. Otherwise it will really, you can very, very easily see that it is uh, tiled, let's say. And then of course also create some highlights around these uh, cracks. So that's it. I hope you guys learned from it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I love you guys.